Ruth. Hi, I'm Melanie. I'm here with Written and Gray. We've got Lawrence and Brooks. Howdy. Um, what inspired your name, Written and Gray? Written and Gray. So in like 2013, 14, beginning of the time, yeah. I was in, we were in high school. And especially me and my brother, because me and my, my brother got me into a lot of music that I started on. Yeah. And we always had this idea of creating a band, and we were just browsing through names. Yeah. Um, Gray is uh, actually a name, not the color. <laughs> okay. But I, I use it in reference to the color. It makes sense. My middle name is Gray, and my grandpa's middle name is Gray, and my dad's middle name is Gray. It's just kind of a lineage. And um, it was like the anniversary of my grandpa's death. So we were just like, we wanted to throw that in there. Yeah. So written in Gray come from the term written in stone. And it's kind yeah. Of I like it. That's, that's much deeper than I had in mind. Yeah, it is. I like it. <laughs> um, how long have you been a band? Like you said in the first yeah. question, it's been a, about uh, eight years now, I guess. Years, uh, I we started in 2014. Yeah. That's pretty much. <laughs> pretty much it's like the lineup that we have now. That's when we started working on songs, I guess you can say. Right. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Fall and of 2014. Since wow. then, we've <laughs> done a whole like album and trashed it. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a little more than the question, but uh, and, yeah. And then we, the one that we have out now, is completely different. We just wrote a new one. <laughs> we uh, kind of changed directions, actually. So. That's that's something I ask sometimes. Um, is I'll ask people if your if your sound has evolved. Well, most definitely, and it okay. still is. Okay. Um, so I'll skip a question and go back to it. How would you describe your sound for anyone that might be watching this? Hype yourselves up. I like, I like <laughs> to be basic about that term and just call it metal because it is. But, really but I mean, if you want me to go more into depth into that, yeah. Like we got, it's like a mix of groove and thrash and metalcore and hardcore and it's a bunch, like big bunch of junk. Yeah, if you're <laughs> a fan of like Trivium or like Every Time I Die or like. Kill switch engage. Kill yeah. switch or yeah. That was gonna be my next question is for fans of Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Bullet from our Valentine. Whatever. Bullet is yeah. a big one. Yeah, we are we're that was solid, you know, big one for us. Like bullet from our Valentine. Um, who writes the lyrics for your song? Us, us two. Okay. I would say it's there's definitely uh more on his end. Yeah. For the like the first release that we did. At war with myself. The one you trashed? No. no. Oh, okay. No. Well, but that too. That one's all him. Yeah, no offense, you know. No, no, no we were young that. as fuck. It was, yeah, we were in like great. <laughs> but uh, Lawrence is probably seventy percent of it. But right now, it's definitely like an equal split because our old bass player had a lot in it too. Okay. Andrew. Uh, Clearly. But musically. Musically. You know, it's really just whatever anyone wants to throw in effort. and if it works it works um so adding something on what song that you have both written means the most to you it's done is done i would Me and him say together done wrote stuff done. done is done okay because what's done is done was one of the first songs that we actually wrote for that record yeah after the one that we trashed when we started writing music with the intention of releasing it yeah um is there a video or anything for that there is. Okay. I will like the it. only one with a music video, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, the I'll like it then. Dropped, yeah. this. Um, what are you working on right now? We're working on. Uh, that you can tell us. Like, we have two or three songs nearly done and a few others in the works. Just, uh, I'd say, branch off of the album and just turn it upside down at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what we're going for. Okay. Um, I would definitely say it's a little more, a little more aggressive. Yeah, definitely some more aggression than the previous okay. material. Maybe a little more tactical. There you go. I like that. Sounds word. like it'll be fun live. <laughs> uh, I think that, so. That, In that, what May? Is that the next show, or do you have another one before then? We actually have a show on. Is it, I want to say it's February seventeenth or February eighteenth at the Milestone. Oh, okay. In Charlotte. Yeah. North Carolina. That's a fun venue. Oh yeah, we love playing the Milestone Buck and everyone there just yeah. killer. They've never had a problem with the Milestone, but yes, yeah, Thursday the 17th. Okay, so Thursday the 17th, yeah. anyone local? Charlotte. 
That'll be our first show with our new Facebook. Okay. Yes. Great. Um, do you have anything else you want to add? Because that's all I got. I would just say keep your eyes open. Yeah. Keep your ears. We're definitely <laughs> working on some stuff. And, and it's, uh, coming together. it's coming together. Keep your ears peeled. I think it'll be out thing. sooner than people think because we <laughs> slack a lot. People know that. <laughs> <laughs> we played a few shows. Okay, we. I want to do want to add this. We've only only played a handful of shows since COVID started, and uh, I know we haven't been quite as active, and our presence is kind of on We're the kind of background. But it's because we are working on stuff, and we are uh, evolving. <laughs> yeah, we're not <laughs> totally just, uh, evolving. Forever evolving. Yes. <laughs> Take it days off. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you.